Good day everyone! Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez, your Calculus teacher. Last time, we were able to discuss different examples and problem solvings involving circles. Today, we will now be discussing an equation involving circles again, but this time, we will be having another solution, which is the completing the square in able for us to identify the center and the radius of the circle. So let us have this example. Identify the center and the radius having the equation x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 2y is equal to negative 14. So first step. First step is that we need to rewrite the equation x squared and then we have minus 14x plus y squared plus 2y is equal to negative 14. Next step is to complete the square. So always remember that in completing the square, we have here x squared minus 14x. There is another term here. And that is the one that we need to complete. So how do we get the term here? So the formula is very simple and that is negative b over 2 squared. Okay, what is b? What is the value of b? Always remember that in quadratic equation, the coefficients of x squared x and the constant will be a, this is b, and this is c. So we are dealing with c if we are having negative b over 2 squared. So what is b? Our b is negative 14. Write it down. b is equal to negative 14. Okay. So substituting this in our equation, we have negative b, which is negative of negative 14, is positive 14. So that becomes positive 14 over 2 squared. And what is 14 over 2? 14 over 2 now will give us an answer of 7. And what is 7 squared? 7 squared is 49. Therefore, this term now is equal to 49. Clear. Okay. So, we have now completed the terms in x. So, let's find out the term being completed in y. So, we'll be having plus y squared plus 2y plus. So, what is this one? So, in order to find this one, use the formula negative b over 2 squared. This is our b. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 squared. Therefore, that is plus 1. Okay. Is equal to negative 14 plus. Do not forget that there is a term being added or subtracted to the right side. So, that term is just equal to the terms being completed. Therefore, this is negative 14 plus 49 and the last one is plus 1. So, I hope we are clear with this one. So, x squared, this becomes x squared minus 14x plus 49. Okay, so let us now try to factor out this one. x squared minus 14x plus 49, what will be the factors? Okay, the factors would be what? Since this is negative and this is positive, this becomes x minus 7 quantity squared. Okay, and for the next one, this is plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. So what is the factor or what are the factors of y squared plus 2y plus 1? Since this is positive, the middle term is positive and the last term is also positive, the factors would be y plus 1 quantity squared. Therefore, this is now x minus 7 quantity squared plus y plus 1 quantity squared is equal to the right side. And what is the right side? This becomes negative 14 plus 49 plus 1 and that is equal to positive 36. So, what is the question now? We are asked to identify the center and the radius of the circle. So, this is now the standard equation of the circle or the center radius form. Okay, let us first identify the center. The center is always the coordinates of this one. Okay, if this is negative 7, the x-coordinate of the center should be positive 7. Are we clear? Why? So, you will ask me why, how. Okay, this becomes 
x minus 7 is equal to 0. Therefore, that is x is equal to transpose negative 7 to the other side and that becomes positive 7. Therefore, the x coordinate of the center is equal to positive 7. How about for the y coordinate of the center? That is now y plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, that is y is equal to transpose positive 1 to the other side. That becomes negative 1. Therefore, the center is located at positive 7 and negative 1. Clear? How about the radius? Always remember that the radius is equal to the right side. But that becomes r squared. r squared is equal to 36. Get the square root. Get the square root of both sides. This cancels out. This cancels out. Therefore, r is equal to what is the square root of 36? That becomes 6. And here is now the answer to the problem, x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 2y is equal to negative 14. Wherein, the center is located at 7 and negative 1, and the radius is equal to positive 6 units. Okay na. Hindi, mamaya pa kasi may isang problem pa, diba? 